Wow, Jeff. In the time that we turn that off, we have done a lot. Uh, probably makes it look like we've accomplished great things. We've put the shelf on. We've got this thing all ready to go, and now it's you're, time. You're connected to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is connected, uh, and now it is time. I, I put the app on my phone. It is time to do the initial burn. Da da da. Feel the burn. Okay. So, or as it says here. Seasoning. Seasoning the grill. Yes. Okay, it says plug appearance may vary by region. That is true. If you're using this in Europe, it's going to look very different. <laughs> um, make sure there are no foreign objects in the auger. Okay? Hello, anybody? No. It's very small. There's no, nothing no foreign. No foreign objects. Okay. All right, make sure there are no foreign. Okay, now, but wait, we have to or pellets in there, okay. What type of pellet are you using? I am gonna use... Da, da, da! Cherry pellets. Yes, cherry. Now this, oh, this pellet hopper can hold up to 18 pounds. Yes. This, this, this bag is 20. Which, which means... You're not gonna put them all in. I'm going to have, somebody could come by and say, can I borrow some pellets? Right. Instead of a cup of sugar? It happens all the time. Of course. More in, pro, more probably in, in the barbecue states. But, you know. I've actually had people that, that have wanted to borrow, like, uh, wood chunks and uh, things like that. So, it does happen. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's pour these in. of wood. Very small pellets. Alright. I'm not filling it all the way because uh, they yeah they look cool looking right? Yep, very small pellets of wood. They are definitely neat looking. Okay, then it says okay, warning use only trigger, okay good. Turn grill on, flip the main power switch. Okay wait, so we have it on already. I'm going to cover this, okay? Turn the grill on, which we did, flip the main switch to on. Press any button on the control panel to activify, activate the Wi-Fi or electric controller. Okay, we don't need to, okay, after a few seconds, the home screen will display. Okay, well, we got it already. Press menu to display the main menu, okay? And then turn the dial to select auger, okay? So, am I in a way? I don't go ahead, wanna, go ahead. Okay. Uh, auger and then it says then select prime auger okay so I guess we press menu no sorry I did it wrong okay menu auger then and we push, in. push the button there you go yeah. and now prime auger prime auger then select prime auger prime auger auger priming okay when was the last time you primed your auger right getting very personal there okay the, it says the auger tube will take a few minutes to fill with pellets and begin dispensing into the fire pot. Your grill display will tell you the specific time. Once pellets begin to fall into the fire pot, select done to turn off the auger. You only need, need a few pellets in the fire pot to season your grill. Well, okay, we don't see it because should I, I guess I should lift this up then to see it, to see them going in. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Len, while we're here, could you explain what this port is for? Yeah. So, not being an expert at this point, but I can tell you this, that we have a probe. It comes with a probe. A probe? Like, yes. like a Star Trek probe? Absolutely. The aliens come and they probe you. And this is what they use. What do you use the probe for? This would hurt. Yeah, I, I would <laughs> think so. I'm just saying. Okay, so this is going to go into there. I mean, again, I'm just moving along like, I, like I've studied on this, but you're going to plug it in there, and then this is going to plug into the meat that you're cooking, and it's going, you're going to be able to tell the temperature on the meat. Oh, interesting. Isn't that great? Yes. And this is, 
this is some look it's it's you know it's it's not that sharp but it'll go in it'll you know and then this it's great and it goes it'll go through this grommet right here see ah yes yeah and then it'll go into your meat so and um, and if you this this is for one but if you have two things of meat on there you could always of course um, going to be approximate if you put them on at the same time, be approximate that they'll be cooking at the same time, hopefully, but if you need to, um, you can always use a Thermoworks, right, one of those, um, or I don't know how, you know, I'll have to look into if there's anything, I guess there's nothing to split this, you know, like there's no splitter, so you could put a second in or something, I wonder, maybe, maybe they do have that. I have to find out. Wouldn't that be cool? That would like be if cool. this had a splitter, and then you get it, then you have one probe that goes in, and then another probe. That's doesn't uh, barbecue guru. Don't they have a uh, a new series Q? Yeah, but that's of? no. But that's to keep the temperature. That's ah. to keep the temperature going, and that's a fan and different systems. You wouldn't, you don't need that with this because you have. Um, um, this is the temperature control system, so okay. I don't think you need that. All right. So, again, these things, you know, are not set in stone. If I'm saying something and it's not correct, it's just because uh, I don't know the correct answer. So, but, you know. We're not pros. We're not who? We're not pros. We're not pros, no. We're just two guys with a podcast. Two guys with a podcast, exactly. But you hear that thing? It sounds like crickets. Right? Yes, you hear something. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, it comes with, look at this, Traeger, Traeger decal. This is showing, oh, this is showing on a, uh, they're putting this decal on, it looks like a, a Yeti, like a cooler. Ah. It looks like it's on a cooler that they're putting the Traeger. Uh, that, so that's cool. It doesn't have to be a Yeti, but, you know. All right, so five, four seconds left for the priming. And then what happened? Do you have to do anything or just goes by itself? It says priming complete. Okay. Yes, it does. All right, so the next step is, okay, it says once pill, it's okay. You only need a few, okay, so here we go. It says prime complete. Now, seasoning your grill continued, okay? The home screen will display press dial to set temp. Okay, priming complete. Okay, so oh wait, seasoning your grill. Okay, the home screen, so wait. Okay, we primed it. Okay, so now, okay, so let's see, we're done. Okay, all right. Let's see, the home screen will display press dial to set temp. What's well, not doing that, let's see. Okay, wait a second. Let's go back to menu, okay. Okay, let's see. All right, the home screen will display press styles to set temp. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, press up. Turn the selection dial clockwise to 350. All right, press. I'll oh, press dial to set temp. Uh huh. Okay, which we're going to do, and they say. To set it to 350. Three fifty, okay. Three fifty. And press the dial. Okay. And then it says press next press ignite. Okay. Then it says close the grill door and run the grill for 20 minutes once it has reached the set temperature. Okay. So we'll do that. And with that, we will see you in 20.